Hey there guys, uh, today I will be showing you how to make a leather strop. Um, as you see here, uh, I did this all on film, but of course I had to cut myself on film too. And I recorded it with my phone, so it was bad audio, but great video. So I guess I'll just redo it. But this is what the finished product will look like. Of course yours won't look just like mine, because um, I use nails and stuff but you can use nails too uh, but for what you need uh, to make a leather strop is scrap wood as you see here and right here this is just some scrap wood I use and all the time you will need some scrap leather and leather here too and preferably epoxy is wanted for a leather strop but I am just using some Elmer's wood glue here and I will be using nails for reinforcement and I also have some skinny leather for finishing it off like this um, so let's go ahead and get started here you want to get your uh, uh, piece of wood and you want to do it on the straight side and as you see this has a round side as well straight round um, I'm gonna have to do it on the round side since I don't want to use my other half by one inch um, wood for this so I'll just be doing it on the opposite side and for the leather you can use either the fuzzy side or you can use the smooth side it's all preference today I'll be doing the smooth side and this was the rough side so that's all you need to get started you uh, want to find out where you want to put your leather on your wood and then go ahead and glue it down am I in frame here? yeah go ahead and glue it down I'll be doing it right here Now there probably will be overspill on the sides, just like, I don't know if you can see right there. It's spilling down, but that is perfectly fine. You can wipe that away with whatever you want, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. Uh, but you want to press down really hard. And then if this is epoxy, of course, you just want to lean on it or whatever. But I'm going to be using nails, so I will go ahead and nail it down. These are drywall nails, they're not meant for wood, so they will be bending. Making a leather strop is really easy. And then right here, I have some thin leather, um, just so when I'm stropping my knife, like my Endura Gators color, when I'm stropping my knife, in the process, I won't nick it on the, uh, the metal. Although it is dug into the leather, it can still become um, a little nicked. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the leather to length here well before I do that I need to cut the excess length off you see how this has a little overlap here you want to go ahead and cut that off And you just go 
right down the side with it, and it should be perfectly fine. So, just like this. So, it's not a perfect cut, but it will do. And then you want to clean all the glue residue off if you have any on your knife. So, just clean the knife off. That's good right there. And then, now, we can put the leather on these leather sides. Just want to measure it. Then make the same length on the other one. I am selling this Endura if anybody wants it. Just comment down below. I had another one just exact same, but I sold it. So. And then we will go ahead and nail these in. And you guys see, it is that easy to make a leather strop. I mean, mine's not the most beautiful in the whole world, but it's that easy. Now all you got to do is go buy yourself some um, compound. I just have this uh, porter compound, and that is all the uses for the different colors. But you want green for fine. And then all you do... So you just go across and across. Um, this is not how you properly load compound onto a leather strop. If you guys do want a video on how to properly load compound, um, just comment down below. Uh, I'll do it if some people request it, but for now it's not on my to-do list. So that's it guys, if you have any questions, just comment uh, or send me a message, whatever you prefer to do, um, but uh, I will answer you back, message you back, whatever, but hopefully you all have a uh, better looking strop than me, but I will see you all later in the next video.